see you. Very nice Beautiful to be night, here. and you, you give a wonderful, powerful speech about building bridges. Here we are at the Met, and it's a beautiful, extraordinary art gallery, but it's not only an art gallery. It's the initiative, the project. Can yes. you tell us how did this initiation start, East meets West, the art of dialogue? What does it mean? Well, quite frankly, my generation has not succeeded in making the world a better place. There is many conflicts and many clashes. And it's so important for me that we give the next generation the opportunity to know each other. We live in a connected world, but connected only by technology, not connected by people-to-people -people understanding. And that is why this initiative is by connecting East and West. Turkey is a country that has done a very good job on the government level of connecting East and West. I am taking this further by trying to bring young emerging leaders from the Arab world to know the West and young emerging leaders from the West to know the Middle East. It is very important to give them the tools so that they can speak to each other and not at each other. And that is all the heart of my initiative. When did it start? It started three and a half months ago. And we launched in uh, London, and we are going uh, to Istanbul, Paris, and Cairo, after New York and Washington. The initial investment is $3 million. That is quite correct. In three months, you reached this amount. Who are your contributors, sponsors, supporters? Nobody is. I what am, is your target? My target is to be able to give young people the opportunity to know each other through exchanges that bring them to the West and exchanges that take people from the West to our part of the world. This commitment I have made for two years and I am looking for it becoming sustainable as people see the success of people going and knowing and then doing joint projects and leveraging the experience so that their communities and their peers can live the experience of the exchange. It is amazing and when you talk about this initiative there are so many angles to it yes. and you're also a global diplomat you call yourself that and we see this it's, it's a beautiful art if we talk about your art right now we have Deutsch we have all these amazing traveler artists as you call them if you talk about your art what is your message to the generation the new generation in terms of the conflicts that we see Art is a universal language. It is a language which can bring to a lot of parts of the world an end of clash and conflict. And I am a strong believer that these Orientalist traveler painters, when they came to our part of the world, including Turkey in the 19th century, they were very strong messengers of positive communication. They came, they lived, they understood the traditions, the values, They some of them became Muslims and married, and to me, they took all this experience and their paintings and went back to the West. And by doing that, they established bridges of understanding. At the time, there was no television, no photography, none of the tools that we have today. Today we have the tools, but we don't have the understanding. Um, I won't take up too much of your time, but I would like to begin by talking about outer space. I'm not crazy. Today, the Voyager 1, which was built in 1977, left the solar system. A truly remarkable achievement considering it was built in 1977, and one that was close to my heart because my father, who was a naval enlisted man who put himself through college at night on the GI Bill, helped work on some key components too at TRW in El Segundo, California in the 70s. So it's a very proud moment for everybody involved. And why did they do it? Why did they build this? Because it was about discovery. It was about searching for the unknown. It was about doing something bold. And I believe that that is what Shafiq and Gigi are trying to accomplish as well. It's about discovery. It's about human discovery. It's about interpersonal relationships, as you said, Shafiq that are the key to everything. The internet, while a great facilitator, is not a way to build bridges. And we talked about that today in the symposiums, so and I know many of you were there, and I'll be brief and I won't repeat myself, but we learned something very important today, which is that there are enough people who can
care about this, to pack the room, to pack the Temple of Dendur tonight. This is what it's about. Obviously this crowd is at a certain level, and it's important for this to translate around the world through interpersonal relationships on every level. He was amazing, wasn't he, Alho? Yes, he was. He's always like that. No, so from Turkey, you're here in New York. Yes. It's nice to see you in both Thank continents. You Thank you. And uh, you love art. You're an art lover. Yes. You appreciate art. Yes. You are an art collector yourself. Yes. <laughs> How did you meet Mr. Shafiq Gaber, who is another art collector, amazing art collector? Actually, true art. Uh, as a family, my family is the, uh, is an art collector family, and then, of course, we are born to it with my sister and we grew to love art and we wanted to build a bridge also using art just like Shafiq did now and through that I met Shafiq we uh, we turned one of our houses uh, into a house of art Casa del Arte where we wanted people from all over the world come stay with us and uh, we are a collection and Shafiq was one of these people and we became friends.